Now, before we do the Magnetron again, make sure you discharge this capacitor. Very, very important. Very safety-wise, discharge this capacitor. So now, this Magnetron in my particular LG model, it has five screws that hold this Magnetron on. They're all Phillips screws. And this is just a plastic that stays on the Magnetron. There's two screws in here. There's a screw on top that holds that light there. And behind this plate, there's another two screws. So we'll take these screws off here. This is a, a Wera magnetic screwdriver. Very nice screwdriver. I did a review of this. Check my review of that. Now opening this up here, you can see two more screws in here. I'll take them out. And this uh, magnetron has a little clip in it that holds the magnetron onto the onto the uh, microwave, so it won't fall off. And I took these last screws off. And the last two screws are in here. And I'm going to try to get them without being in front of the camera. So most magnetrons, the, only, the newer ones only have one screw holding it and maybe a kind of a clip on the side of it. This is an older one, so it's got a lot of screws. And that one didn't come out. There it goes. Now this is, I have to unplug it here down the bottom, just unplug it here. So, it's unplugged now. Now it's still held in, I'm just going to lift it up. There's two little lips here that hold the magnetron inside, and it just clips in the back of here. Now you want to check the magnetron, any cracks in it. These are the cold, what they call the donut magnets. And check the scene, there's nothing cracked in there. And uh, that looks good. Now we're going to check the, for the multimeter, we're going to check this. I'll pause the video and set up for that. Give it a shake. There's nothing shaking here. A little bit of dirt on it, but we're okay to go. So we'll check with the multimeter now. This is my multimeter. I got it on ohm reading, and this automatically selects for me. And I'm just going to check the uh, probes here on the magnetron. Stick that in there. And you should get, let me try to get another way here. You should get 0 0.1, 0 0.3. As long as you don't get zeros, you're okay. Now there are the test is to test to the body. It should so, show no connection. And same with this, it should show no connection. So we'll just switch the multimeter so you can see it here. Okay, so you're checking the each probe. Show no reading, and when you go on the, the two probes here, you should get like 0.3 as long as you don't get zero. So, this is a good magnetron. So, that's part two of part four. Next, we're going to check that little diode there, and then uh, we'll check the capacitor after. Thanks for listening, it'll go to part three.